is a nice pillow. I really like it. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza for RV and Travel Adventures, and I'm just cruising around a lot here at uh, the Fort Worth area looking at RVs, an RV lot. So I just wanted to warn you to really be cautious if you're in the market for an RV, making sure that you get the uh, RV of your dreams, that it doesn't turn out to be the RV of your nightmares. I'm going to show you this uh, example of a travel trailer that I saw today, and there's several of them, but this is just one example. Uh, poor construction, poor attention to detail, maybe even poor design. So when you find one or two different things, you wonder if there's three, four, or five other things that are wrong with your uh, purchase of an RV. So again, it's your hard-earned money. You don't want to throw it away and uh, having uh, things fixed constantly. The first thing uh, a salesperson, a man or woman, is going to tell you uh, after you point out these things, he said, we'll fix it. We'll just buy it and we'll, we'll fix it for you. Of course, uh, they may not fix it to your satisfaction, but they'll attempt to fix it. Uh, but uh, maybe you'll have to come back again, drop it off for a couple months, and uh, get it fixed again. Hey, that's a lot of fun. Buying something, and they said they're going to fix it. They say they're if they fixed it, but it didn't turn out to be fixed, and yet they'll drop it off again. And it's prime camping season, and you're out there going, man. Everybody else is my, all my friends are going camping, but I'm not. That's no fun. That's no fun at all. So I'm going to turn around the camera and show you just two things that I found wrong with this. And I'm not, I haven't even tried. Just walking in the door and and I found a couple things wrong with this Ember product. Again, I'm in the Fort Worth area and uh, I haven't even tried to find things wrong with these things. I just wanted to do a review of one of these RVs and I said, I'm not going to do a review of this one. I wouldn't recommend this RV at this time with these quality concerns to anyone that subscribes to this channel. Of course, there are a lot of salespersons out there and they're saying, these are fine, very nice pillows. I, I really like these pillows, by the way. I wish I could take these home. Very nice pillows. So uh, there are a lot of RV, uh, what do you call them? When they uh, represent an RV dealership, a chain or, you know, and they never say anything bad about an RV. There's nothing wrong with this RV. This is the best RV ever. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. You should buy it right now. In fact, we're going to give you a dollar off. Thank you very much. So I'm going to turn on the camera. We're going to look at this one. And uh, again, don't depend on the salesperson. Uh, the two things they're going to say, if you see these problems, they're going to say, hey, we'll fix it. And uh, But you want to buy something that's already fixed. You don't want to waste your time be desperate. Uh, all these lots I've been to today, RV lots, are full, jam-packed with RVs, and they're discounting them. Some of them, you know, 30%, 40%. Just be on the market, go in there and go, hey, uh, you got any special deals? And they'll say, yeah, I got, I'll give you a dollar off on this, maybe two if you're really nice to me. But they sometimes have, you know, 20, 25. 25 is very typical, uh, about 30, 40%, especially on two-year-old models. So we're in the 2024 model cycle, you know, 2022 travel trailers, motorhomes, fifth wheels, etc. So I'm going to turn around the camera now. Finally, finally. Let me turn it around. So first up, uh, I tried to close this door. I tried to the best of my ability, but as you can tell, I cannot. I cannot close it. I tried it this way. I tried it that way. It doesn't work. Let me try this way. It doesn't work. Again, that door uh, doesn't work. Too bad. Too bad. It's a lippered door. This is another thing. I wanted to fix this and go back here and uh, fix this. Yeah, but this thing doesn't go high enough to engage right there. See that? It doesn't engage. So I moved this uh, mattress a little higher so I could 
close it. So I said, I'm going to do them a favor and close it. But uh, several of these units I've seen, they just don't fit. That's not good. That's not good. So it's still going to lay there like that. Do you want your RV uh, going down the road looking like that? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. So I'm in an RV right now looking at odds and ends. I do like these stainless steel sinks. I do like these uh, sealed membrane uh, countertops. Not They look like quartz almost, huh? They almost look like a quartz, but they're not. They're just a seal membrane composition board under there with a laminate cover. Very nice. This one has a four burner cooktop, has the uh, Furion fridge. I do like those Furion fridges. And one thing I do like about this RV, it has a fan there, a fan there, and a very nice air conditioner there. And it has that uh, window stargazer style window so you can see uh, when you come into your RV going man I gotta fix that bed should I take it into service uh, they're gonna take about a year and a half maybe uh, a couple decades to get it fixed not really it's probably gonna take a month or two who knows if you're nice to them but I do like this uh, travel trailer I'll give you some details at the end of this travel trailer what model it is and there's my phone and this has a nice sofa here with tables and cup holders and I got a sofa there I would have preferred a sofa there and two a very large very large ample size for all your big boys and girls you know uh, you know recliners that would have been much nicer I don't really like these tables let me close it right here it's sort of knock knock who's there so let me sit down and finish this video uh, again this is an ember product let me turn on the camp camera hope you found this uh, video useful I'm just trying to give you a little bit of advice don't be an idiot don't be an idiot it's your hard-earned money don't uh, believe the salesperson when they say, hey, uh, we'll fix it for you. <laughs> they'll attempt to fix it for you. Maybe it might be a half-assed job, but they'll try to fix it for you. And if it doesn't meet your high standards, or my high standards, uh, you'll have to take it back and get it fixed. So those are two items right there that need to be fixed. The door in that bed doesn't even lock into place. What a waste of your time. Hope you enjoyed this video, this bit of advice from an old uh, 71 and a half year old dude from Fort Worth, Texas. I'm visiting a lot over here uh, in the Fort Worth area. I'm pretty sure uh, the folks here at this dealership would try their earnest best. Yes. <laughs> yes, they'll try uh, to fix uh, the RV issues. Okay. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are at. I'm Jesus Garza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. This is a rather modest channel. I'm not a, you know, jolly individual just jumping up and down, selling RVs and saying this is the best thing since sliced bread. No, I, I'm i rather honest to the detriment of this channel. I apologize. And uh, don't forget to leave your kind and friendly comments below. Abajo, muchos, muchos gracias. This is a 2020. You know, this just was built about a couple weeks ago and delivered to this place just a couple weeks ago. I thought it was uh, those uh, issues uh, were over with, with those uh, COVID era travel trailers and RVs. I thought those were the ones with having issues, not the 2023 manufactured RVs. We're over COVID, aren't we? From Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to check out my RVTA specific website my photographic website check out the photographs hope you enjoy them hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at it's a beautiful day here in fort worth 74 degrees it's uh, february 30 2024 hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at this has been asus manuel menagarza ring the bell let me put my little finger here uh, ring the bell for future notificaciones muchas gracias a todos ustedes from uh, fort worth uh, the greater the greater fort worth area this has been Asus Manuel Managarza. 
Gracias. Adiós. Bye bye. Shalom. Adiós. Auf Wiedersehen. Thank <laughs> you.